Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Solo Session 5 as the Mords. So, let's continue where we left off. I was actually thinking about starting a fourth city down here. It wouldn't be as good as the location to the north, but I could still get travels if I hurry up. I think I'll do it. I already queued up a settler. The thing is, I have to hurry up because Gandhi will get this tile. If he gets this tile, I'll probably give up that idea. We'll see. There, six population, and now we can switch to production. We might be able to speed up Settler by one turn, perhaps. Let's find out. Yeah, we can speed it up. Nine turns. I could get some gold while I wait. No, we need to keep it at nine turns. Yeah, it will go up to ten if I work non-production tiles. All right, that's fine. Nine turns it is then. And you? There, we can work the dice to get some gold. I don't think I can bring it down to eight turns, no. Alright, nine turns is more than okay. We are about to get construction. We finished improving silk. So... I should finish that road to Granada. Let's go work on that perhaps. And keep exploring this way. I saw a city-state. And that's it. Next. I still want to settle a city somewhere between Valencia and Granada and Cordoba, but that will have to wait, I guess. It's not like anyone will steal this location from me. If someone tries to send a settler, I'll just block the way. I don't think Ethiopia will forward settle me like that. I don't think Gandhi will do it and Venice can't. So this area should be fine. If someone settles a city here, I'll just take it. Or raise it, whatever. I wouldn't let them do that. Anyway, let's go work on that road. And there's another city-state. As for our research... What do we need? Probably education now. I don't think I want to go for metal casting first. Probably not, no. All right, let's get currency first, and then civil service. All right, currency it is then. Our happiness is fine. Declaration of friendship with Venice, yeah, sure. I can use him as my trading partner. There's no need to attack him. I can always conquer him in the future. All right. Anything else we can explore around here? To the north. Past the city-states. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. We still need to find one more AI, yeah? Yep. Oh, barbarian camp. Right. Well then, that gives us some time to destroy it. Get started on that road. I can explore this little bit. No, I will not reveal a city. Unless I get open borders. But I can't get open borders. I don't have the tech. So, never mind. And the Mongols already declared war on a city-state. That's to be expected. The Mongols will be hated by everyone. <laughs> as usual. So, carry on with that road. Five more turns for the settler. Alright, next. Do we have anything to sell? The horses, if I want to sell horses. No, that's from city-state. Right. Never mind. Kill this guy, that will take a few turns. We finish the quarry. Four more turns for the settler. I should also connect Valencia with the road, but that will take a while. Polynesia finished the Great Wall. Hey, that's good. It's not Gandhi. That's a positive. And another barbarian camp. That one might be slightly problematic. Let's get a mine near Cordoba. It needs more production. It has fairly low production potential, which worries me a bit. We need a good production city in general, because Granada isn't exactly amazing. Valencia isn't amazing either. So, yeah, production might be a problem. I'll need a good production city. Alright, next. Do I even have any negative modifiers with Venice? No. They aren't even upset that I settled near them. Okay, then. 
So continue that road. And we got some gold. Alright. The way is clear. Oh yeah, Gandhi got the truffles after all. So, change of plans. I don't think I want to settle here anymore. I can't get truffles. I guess we'll settle to the east. Somewhere around here. Alright, that's fine. It's okay, we'll take or raise Vijayanagara in the future. Probably raise and settle our own city, although... It will depend on how well developed Vijayanagara will be by the time I take it. Let's change tile assignments. We need some more farms around here. But for now we lock anything with two food. Yeah, we definitely need more farms around here. One more guy. Well, let's work the iron mine. It's not that great. Actually, this city will not grow very fast anyway. I need to build farms first, so let's keep it on production focus. We can build a granary, water mill. We still need quite a few basic buildings in here. And I think it's time for unit upgrades. Unit. Open borders? No, not really. Also, let's check who went for what opener. Piety for Polynesia, tradition for Gandhi, tradition and piety for Gandhi. The Mongols took one in liberty. Tradition for Ethiopia, as expected. Honor for Carthage. Okay. So let's get out of here, away from that barbarian camp, and upgrade to composite bowmen. I don't think there are any barbarian camps over here, but we'll send an escort just in case. So where exactly do we want that city anyway? Let's see. I don't want a city here. Question is where exactly? On a river, that's for sure. This would be a little bit too close to Cordoba, maybe? It will be close to something, there's no way around that. I think this is actually the best location. Yeah, because we'll get the deer to the southwest, that Cordoba is too far away to work. We'll still get the horses. We won't get the dice over here, but my borders will expand to grab that tile anyway. The only downside of settling on this side of the river is that we'll get a few useless tiles to the south. This location technically has more workable tiles, but it has more overlap. Yeah, one more tile of overlap. I don't know, do I want the deer or do I want the dice? The dice to work. Good question, I'm not sure. I can't go there on this turn just yet anyway. Upgrade. And let's go north. This is probably the end of the map, but we'll check it out regardless. You can stay in the city. Let's just wait one turn. I don't want to piss off the city-state. So here or here? This is a little bit too close to Valencia, so... One of these two tiles. I think I prefer this one, actually. Because this is a hill, I'd rather use that for production. And if I settle here, I'll be able to share that hill with Cordoba. So I can work that tile which, with whichever city needs production more. Alright, let's settle right here. It's not the best city ever, but it's fine. Alright, that's going to be our last city for now. At least the last city we settle ourselves. I don't think I want any more settlers right now. Not really, no. Now we can focus on building up an army. A bit. I'll probably want to attack Gandhi as soon as I get machinery. That's for sure. We should just go straight for machinery, I think. That would involve delaying education a bit. So I'm not too excited about that, but we'll get quite a few research agreements. So I think it's worth going for machinery. I normally don't do this, because this will delay education significantly, but still, 
We have a really damned good unique unit. I think it's a good idea. We just need to get research agreements once the AIs get education. So that's what we'll do. That also means I'll have to skip metal casting for now. Well, let's get engineering. That will give us an extra trade route. But I'm pretty sure I'll just go for machinery first. That seems to be the best choice. And then attack Gandhi as soon as we can. I like that plan. Oh, he actually completed Petra, alright. In Mumbai. That's a pretty decent city for Petra. It has three desert hills. It has an oasis in range. Yeah, that's a really nice city for Petra. You know what that means? We'll be taking Mumbai as well. Alright, time to get some farms. And next. Anything we can sell? I don't think so, no. Nope. Okay then. Do we have time to build barracks? I think the granary will have to wait a bit. I need to build up my army. As much as I want population. And here's another wonder. Yeah, he has quite a few wonders already. Five wonders to be exact. And most of them are in his capital. Alright, more farms. This one doesn't have fresh water. Oh yeah, this is floodplain. It doesn't look like one, but it is. So that means we want a farm over here. And Granada is connected. We can work on some more farms. We need our cities to grow. So I'll build barracks and then switch to military production. So build composite bombmen, basically. Plus one population. We could also use one more worker, but... Not sure if I have the time for that. We could recruit a worker here. After the granary. That's fine. Yes. I'm going to sell you dice. 360 gold. Very nice. I could just buy a worker, actually. In Valencia. Yeah, that's not a bad plan. Survivalism. Let's get plus one range. Vision range, that is. 420 gold. Well, I'm not sure. I'll need quite a lot of gold for research agreements. So it would actually be better to save up. I don't think any AI has education yet. This is too early. Nope, he doesn't have education yet. We'll just recruit the worker the old-fashioned way. Actually, hold on. It is actually worth buying a worker because we'll get the iron connected faster. And the horses. I can just sell that then. Alright. I'm still going to recruit this one though. We could use four workers easily. Well, we don't have four workers right now, but we could use more than that. Well, I don't know. Do we need a fifth worker? Nah. I don't think we need that right now, actually. Let's get a caravan instead. That's much more useful for science, if nothing else. We got engineering. So, machinery? Machinery. What do you think you're doing over there? Alright. Let's hook up the luxury first. And go kill that barbarian camp. We're about to get our next policy. That's going to be a tradition finisher, right? Yep. Nice one. So, tradition finisher done. Right. I might actually go for honor to get the great general. Possibly. We'll see. Let's work the cattle. Valencia has more tiles that it can work. Actually, hold on. It doesn't, at least not yet. Okay, never mind that plan. We'll work something else. I'll just have to work two food, even though I don't like it too much. 
Okay, fine. Yes, accept. I don't really need iron all that much. Especially since we have several more sources of iron. That's not exactly a problem. The barracks are almost done. So, let's queue up a few units. Composite bombing. That will delay the granary a bit, but whatever. We need more units. I'll probably want at least five unique units. That's a good number, yeah. And we'll need more than one melee unit. Probably a horseman to capture cities with. Farm and kill that guy already. That's 37 gold. And that's that. Next. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Alright, back we go. You can chop the forest to speed up that library. The farm is done. Let's check tile assignments. It's still on full production, but I think we can do better than that. Let's have a look. If we lock all the best tiles. 16 turns. 13 turns. Okay, that's decent balance of food and production. I still want to get new units in reasonable time. As for you, well, we should work on connecting our other cities. But I still need a few improvements here. Also, our new city needs more improvements. We can work on that instead. Kill up and Another farm, plantation, I need to sneak past that barbarian camp, shouldn't be too hard. So, how's this city doing? Oh yeah, we got desert folklore, because Gandhi picked that up. That's actually quite nice. Can we do anything with our faith right now? Not yet, we'll grab a mosque. Once we get 300. So in 9 turns. And that's yet another wonder for Gandhi. Yeah, he's spamming too many wonders at this point. Need to do something about that. And by something I mean conquer him. In case that wasn't obvious enough. Next. No. Oh, we lost that religion already. I don't actually want the creation of friendship with him. No, I don't. We will be attacking him in the next 25, 30 turns. Machinery should be a little bit faster than this. Yeah, I want to attack him as soon as I finish that. Alright, let's get out of here. Too many barbarians in the area. So we can't auto-purchase anything anymore. We need to wait for his religion to spread again. Oh well, it's fine. We'll just save our faith. If I get a prophet, I'll just use him for a holy site or something. Should have done that with the first one probably, but too late now. Get out of here. What's next? Another melee unit? A catapult? Yeah, let's get at least one, maybe two siege units. I know catapults and shovel shells are not that great, but we can start getting experience for them. And we should also sell iron. I don't have iron working yet, so we won't be recruiting swordsmen. We'll just sell iron for gold. It's fine. Just sell all of it. That's going to be 270. And that's that. There's our new composite bowman. So that gives us what? Three composite bowmen and one spearman. I probably want at least one, maybe two more composite bowmen. So instead of the catapult, one more composite bowman, then we can get a catapult. We don't have that much time left. 
And the horseman will be good too. At least one horseman. Wait, can we not recruit horsemen? Oh, I didn't actually research horseback riding. That's funny. It's fine. I can always just get his spearmen. Next. So, 23 turns to get machinery. We'll increase our science output a little bit. And Barbarian come to the north. We do have a quest from a city-state. It might be worth destroying that camp. It probably is, yeah. Plus one population in Granada. And the caravan is almost done. Yes, I'm interested. 311. And one gold pattern. He doesn't have 311. That's okay. Polynesia, denounce Carthage. Is anyone at war with anyone at the moment? Nope. Caravan is done. What's the best trade route? That will give us science. Granada to Quebec City. Really? Okay, fine. That's actually a pretty good one. This is a lot of gold. I could just use it to buy some units. What do we want here? Another caravan. Yep, sure. Does anyone have education yet? Probably not. This is a little bit too early. Shall nope. Yeah, this is too early for education. Anyway, let's go get that barbarian camp. We'll send to composite bowmen. That should be enough. The plantation is done. I should just buy some of these tiles because Gandhi, uh, I mean, Enrico will steal them otherwise. It's not like we can't afford it. So I could grab this one. I could just grab these two. To block his border expansion. It's not a terrible idea, although he definitely won't like it. I need a decent tile to work. I think I should just buy the marble to the north. Alright, let's buy the marble. And we can improve it right away. We will need the happiness. Keep exploring. Alright, let's just go improve it. Oh, another worker that we could get for free. Possibly. Our border expanded. Next. So this is a bit of a non-standard. Hold that thought. Yeah, sell dice for 7 gold per turn. But yeah, this is a bit of a non-standard way to progress through the tech tree. I pretty much never go for machinery this fast. But in this case, it's worth it. That's an amazing unique unit. Return the worker. To Ethiopia? Or the Settler? I think I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll keep it. I wouldn't mind one more worker. That will speed up a lot of improvements. Might as well keep it. Varage to. And Caravan. That's an old Caravan. Alright, next. No, I don't want the collision of friendship with the Mongols. Because everyone is going to hate him. That was our last copy, so... Accepting that would have been bad. And now we just wait. Get out of the way. We can get a farm here, I suppose. And you? You can get a mine. For some production. Plus some population. God. We'll work the farm. And keep working the silver mine. We need some production in Cordoba. No open borders for you now. Although I suppose it won't hurt accepting that. It's not like he can send a settler. Barrage. That should be enough. Composite bombing for now. Let's get some melee units. At least one. We'll get a spearman. It's not amazing, but it's something. I'll need melee units. I only have one at the moment. 
Okay. As for you, grab the horses, then we can sell them. Yeah, keeping that worker was actually a good idea. We have a lot of tiles to improve. And that will speed it up. Next. This will be a pretty early war. But it will be worth it if we can take Delhi. Which we should be able to. The library is done. Granary. And looks good. Keep exploring. 26 stacks for Polynesia. Okay. 26 stacks for Carthage. Yeah, I don't think anyone has education yet. Was in what era? Medieval era. Okay, everyone is medieval in medieval era. The creation of friendship with Carthage. Carthage usually isn't liked. Polynesia is denouncing them, but I don't have the creation of friendship with Polynesia either. Let's accept it. Right, hold on. We already had that declaration of friendship. It's just expired. Not much to see here. Are you guys done? No. There's the spearman. Eight more turns for machinery. I think we have time to get one more composite bowman. If we want to. Barrage or drill. We have time to get one more unit. Composite bowman. Okay, fine. Just get as many unique units as possible. Wait, what's this? Is that part of the... Enlightenment era mod? Because that's not a unique building for me. So what the heck is that all about? Interesting. Well, that's not my unique building, so I'm not sure what that's all about. That might be the part of Enlightenment Era mod. This is our unique building. That replaces a university. Alright, I guess that's part of the Enlightenment Era mod. Even though we're nowhere close to Enlightenment Era. I think it's time to connect our cities with roads. Yep, it's about time. So, like this. And now we are just waiting for machinery. We will upgrade right away. And go attack Gandhi right away. No decoration of friendship with Gandhi anymore. I hope this will be enough. This is a bit of a gamble. Because this will delay our research quite significantly. So I hope it's worth it. Only one way to find out. 8 pop. Oh yeah, research agreement. Yep, accept. That's why I was saving the gold. To get research agreements. Since I don't need to have education myself. Just one player needs to have education. So it's enough if they have it. It does have education from the looks of it. I need to give him more than this. Okay, research agreement with Ethiopia. Does anyone else have education? I don't think Venice has it. Uh, yeah, they actually do. So, 97 and probably 2 gold version. 99 and open borders. I'm not giving you open borders. No. Come on, 120? No. No. Come on, bro. It's a good deal. Two gold per ten. How much did he need again? 97. Just no. get two gold per ten and give him 97. Oh, he won't even accept this. 100. There we go. No. And research agreement. Venice is not exactly the best research agreement partner of all times, but it's fine. 
market or Colosseum actually. Yeah, our cities are growing quite rapidly. We are going to need a Colosseum. All right then. So Aaron, we got the marble. That's a new caravan. Don't send it to Gandhi, that's silly. Probably to Venice. Yep. Venice it is then. Get another farm. And maybe I should disband that scud by now. He is costing me maintenance. Three more turns. We can still explore to the southwest a bit. Two more turns. I could just go directly for Delhi. That might be better. Delhi is a much more important city to take than Vijayanagara. I won't even be taking Vijayanagara. The plan is to raise it. But Delhi first. Delhi has all the wonders that we want to take from Gandhi. Water mill. Quartile assignments here. Uh, I suppose this is fine. We need a farm over here on that grassland. Once we're done with the pasture, I suppose. Can our scout actually embark? I don't remember. One more turn to finish that. And one more turn for machinery. There, we got machinery. All right. And now we can upgrade. 145 gold. All right, do it. There, that was pretty expensive. That's why I saved the gold. In case that wasn't obvious. And now we can grab all the missing cheap techs. I might as well go for metal casting now. Well, I don't know, that's 11 turns. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, let's just go for education. We should get a spy in some reasonable future. And I don't want to fall behind too much. So now we just have to move towards Gandhi and we will be declaring war as soon as we're there. I can try to get someone else to also declare war on him. That might or might not work. We can always try. All right, four turns to finish that other guy. That's fine. I'm not going to wait for him. I will be attacking Gandhi right away. Just want to move a little bit closer. Plus one population. Yeah, this city is growing really nice. All right, next. But how can I get to attack Gandhi? Gandhi is actually kind of isolated. He's behind all these city-states. Yeah. That's yet another reason to attack him ASAP. Isolated Gandhi beats a little bit dangerous. But we're going to do that in the next part. So thanks for watching this one. And I'll see you next time.